Psalm 90 is a reflective psalm attributed to Moses, and it is unique in its exploration of the eternal nature of God and the brevity of human life. Moses, the author of the psalm, appeals for God's wisdom and guidance. Believers can use Psalm 90 as a template for prayer seeking God's wisdom in navigating the challenges and uncertainties of life. The psalmist appeals to God for compassion and favor. Believers can use Psalm 90 to pray for God's mercy and grace, acknowledging their dependence on His compassion in the face of life's challenges. The psalm recognizes the impact of sin on human existence. Believers can use Psalm 90 to acknowledge their own sinfulness, leading to a spirit of repentance and a desire for God's forgiveness and cleansing. The psalmist yearns for God's presence Believers can use Psalm 90 to express their own longing for a deep and abiding connection with God, recognizing that true fulfillment is found in His nearness. The psalm mentions God's anger against sin. Believers can use Psalm 90 to reflect on the seriousness of sin and the need for a righteous and holy response to God. The psalm concludes with a prayer for God's favor and blessing. Believers can use Psalm 90 as a model for prayer seeking God's favor in various aspects of life, trusting in His kindness and love. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube. I truly hope your hearts will be blessed. Repeat after me, Psalms 90. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up, in the morning it flourisheth and groweth up, in the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it.
Amen, may Jehovah. Rapha bless you greatly and powerfully until next time. Thank you.